Hello, I'm Simon from Careco, and I'm going to talk you through the XGO Pro Seed assembly instructions. I've taken all of the items out from the box. We've got the main chassis, the Pro Seed seat and its armrests, the basket, battery pack, seat post, and also included are some tools to help us. We'll start by raising the tiller. Simply loosen and lift the tiller into position and retighten. On the front, there's a tiller lock, and we need to ensure that we loosen that. At the moment, the steering is actually locked. So we press the tiller in, turn it, and now the handlebars can turn freely. The seat post has three positions. This is for different height settings. I'm gonna set this one on the middle to see how it fits myself. So place the seat post into the tube, align the hole in the post, and place the bolt inside. Place the nut on the other end and tighten by hand. Using the tools provided, we have an Allen key and a 17 millimeter spanner. We can tighten that up. Once the seat post is in position, we'll place the battery pack on. When you're putting this on, just make sure that there's no plastic underneath. Sometimes during transportation, they place a little piece of plastic in there just to protect it. So make sure anything's removed. Check here and also on the chassis. Once you've done that, place the battery as you can see and firmly press to make sure it's seated correctly. We'll now fit the seat. When we lift the seat, it's important that we lift this handle underneath. By pulling on this, we can then place the pin into the post, keeping this handle lifted, place in position, and then release. We can now lift the backrest up and move on to fitting the arms. We just place the arm into the slot underneath the seat. These can be adjusted in width. To hold them in position, we fit the little thumb screw. Place it in and tighten it as so. Same on the left-hand side. We'll now fit the basket. This simply clips onto the front holder and pushes into position. Before we can use the scooter, we need to make sure that it's in drive mode. Here at the back of the scooter, we have the drive freewheel lever. When the scooter's in freewheel mode, the scooter can be pushed, but it can't be driven. So we need to make sure before we turn it on at the ignition that the drive lever is placed into drive. Now the scooter cannot be pushed, but it can be driven. Before we go out on the scooter, however, we do need to ensure that we charge up the battery pack. At the front of the battery pack, we have the charging port. Now we can, if wanted, remove this battery pack and charge it in another room, for instance, but you need to charge it and leave it on charge for between eight to 12 hours. Once it's been charged for that period of time, you can then use your scooter and enjoy your rides out.